I'm not sure it's possible to be an artist for a longer time and not even once have experienced an art block. Some of you might have it right now, some have already dealt with it in the past and some will have it in the future. Since even being a successful professional artist doesn't mean you will not have an art block at some point. I'd say it's one of the unpleasant parts of being an artist and yes, there are also unpleasant moments in our dream job too. Yet while we can't run away from those moments, learning how to deal with them, how to turn them into a positive experience and guidelines will make us only stronger and more professional artists. I believe there are several reasons why the art block appears. One of them, the most common one, can actually paralyze people of any profession, not only artists. I talk about an art block caused by expectations, and particularly the expectations we put on our art. Yes, we artists have our ego, whether it helps us or distracts us, that's a team for another talk. But in the case of an art block, it plays a crucial role. When you see how great the art of others is and you are sure that you are able to do something like this too, and then you take a pencil and make a few first sketches and bam, what you see is a huge, just enormous gap between the result you have in your head and what your hands are able to do right now. The understanding of how far the desired aim is, is just devastating. Now, if you were surrounded by people who struggled the same way and you would see how this would affect them positively, pushing them to exercise more and being curious about the learning process, in that case you might not even take your lack of skills at this time as something tragic. The feeling of the same struggle and common goal would motivate you. But what surrounds you instead are the posts in social media where it seems like people produce masterpieces every single day. And those couple of hours that you devote painting or drawing every week only makes you feel sadder and not make you feel you are getting closer to becoming a great artist. The worst thing is that while watching so much great art on the internet, your taste is getting only better with time, but your skills are still evolving slowly, and the gap between those is getting only bigger. You perfectly know how great art should look, as you also know that you are not able to produce it. The longer these thoughts circulate your head, the deeper you are fallen into an art block. They say you should never compare your beginnings with someone's 30 years of practice. Only comparing yourself with you in the past is what counts. But the great art just overwhelms us and we forget those wise words. In my opinion, another thing that fits that type of an art block is the fact that today everything should be very fast. And if you cannot learn to produce beautiful art every day, then there's something wrong with you. We all know about 10,000 hours of practicing to become a professional. But it's somehow hard to accept it. It seems like there's another, faster way to get there. The longer I work as a professional artist, the more I accept the fact that in terms of getting skills, there is indeed no other way. Just think, if you would get a guarantee that after 10,000 hours your art will come to a brand new level which you desire, would you start working on your skills devoted and concentrated, counting all these hours, or would you think that it's still not worth the time? I think answering this question to yourself honestly might give you some interesting thoughts as well as answering the question would you keep making art if you would certainly know that you won't make money with it and you won't become successful. Now answering this question might help you to see something behind your desire to become an artist. Maybe something that you want is not actually connected with your wish becoming an artist at all. 
If you are craving fame or potentially easy earned money or some creative people around you, you can get all this without necessarily becoming an artist. In that case, that would also explain the lack of motivation for exercising the skills. It might be that your subconscious already knows you don't need this for getting the things you really crave. But if you feel you could make art no matter what, the long way of learning and practicing won't make you feel sad and disappointed. But curiosity what's next and happiness about every little progress would take over. One of the most important things I once realized, actually, it was quite a turning point for me as an artist, is the fact that there will never be a moment where I would say, okay, from now on I've reached the level I wanted, now I start making masterpieces. Because with every new milestone, with every year you devote practicing your skills and training your taste, this moment would move like mirage. And I tell you, even if it hurts at some point, better this stays unreachable. Otherwise, you risk stopping evolving as an artist, losing your artistic curiosity and desire for something new and original. Does it mean that artists always have to struggle? Of course not. If there would not be any positive moments, it would be impossible to do for a long time. They are just different for different people, I guess. But in my opinion, enjoying the process and progress are definitely one of the best moments in artistic practice. But getting back to an art block. For me, one of the most useful thoughts that helps me to go through an art block less desperately is the fact that the art block is not forever, it's just a period of time that will pass. Often it's the time between two stages of your artistic evolution. Exactly when you understand that it's time to get better and your conscious has already accepted it, but the subconscious needs more time to process the change and build up a new strategy. Also it's the period where you might accept the fact that previous ways were false and that the hopes will not be fulfilled that fast as you thought. Art block gives you time to reconsider which way you would go, accept the temporary dissatisfaction that in the best case leads to a desire to get better, or accept that the way you've chosen is wrong, it won't fulfill your desires, and it's time to think about looking for those fulfillments in other activities, leaving art as a casual hobby. The good thing is, there is no wrong way, you will be right in any case, as long as you are honest with yourself. Now, living through an art blog gives an important experience and your own strategies of dealing with it. Since if you keep making art or become a professional artist, an art blog will come over and over again. Maybe because of other reasons, like lack of ideas or any kind of stress. Yet with every time you will be getting to know yourself better and will be getting more independent of any circumstances.